guys, what's up, Clover Sim here, bringing you an unboxing, overview, and range test on the Nerf, Rebel, Super Stripes, Wild Glam. I purchased this blaster at Toys R Us for £14.99, great British pounds. Being a Toys R Us exclusive, you can only get it at Toys R Us. So what this blaster basically is, is a repaint of the Rebel Pink Rush, without the bow arms, but it comes with a nice holster, bandolier, uh, it's got these zebra print colour schemes, some zebra print darts, and some crappy vision gear. So if you take a look at the box, of course, you've got the blaster, you can touch it. Wild Glam, Super Stripes, which is a Toys R Us exclusive line. Uh, it says holster and bandolier. And then you've got the models, shooting the blaster. And on the side, it's advertising the other Super Stripe blasters, the 5x5 and the Rapid Glow. Uh, on the back... It says bandolier, all that stuff, the vision gear, the carry blast in the holster, all that stuff, showing you how to work it. But anyway, that's the box, we'll go into unboxing it now. So what you get inside the box is the bandolier, the holster, the seven uh, zebra print elite darts, the instruction manual, just take a quick look at this, just shows you how to work the blaster, nothing new because seeing as this is just a repaint of a older rebel blaster, you got the crappy vision gear which just recolored uh, dart tag stuff which we don't need, and the wild plan itself which is just a repainted pink crush. The bow arms from the pink crush will still fit on it seeing as it starts a hole in the front. But that looks a bit goofy there, so take it off. I prefer it with other arms, but it's more sleeker and smoother. So the holster is not a um, leg clip holster. It clips onto the band the bits, like so. Also, Nerf seems to be going away from metal clips. They use some plastic ones now, which is kind of disappointing, because the metal ones hold held it better. But then you just put the band the on. You won't be able to see this, but... It's kind of small when you first get out the box, so you just need to resize it. And that kind of fits me. Then the blaster fits in the whole star, just try that out here. Fits it very nicely. Um, it's not going to come out at all. I just, sorry, this is off camera, just taking the bandolier off. So it fits the holster very nicely. If I can get it in right. And that is not coming out at all. It's very stable. As you can see, not coming out. Uh, the bandolier has slots for 10 darts, but it only comes with 7. So, usual nerf, not giving you the amount of darts that you needed. So, they just go in like so. I'm only going to put 2 in for now. But just, that would be the same going all the way up. So how the work, you work the blaster is, you put the dart into the nozzle here, pull it back, show you all know how to work a fire strike, and then pull the trigger to fire, and that hits very hard. Same again, just put in the dart, in, and fire. I'll give you a range test of the Wild Glam now. On to the range test of the Wild Glam, we'll be doing 12 shots of the Elite Darts fired flat at shoulder height. So anyway, let's go on with the range test. 12 shots fired flat, here we go.
Last shot. Okay, let's go see the range. The lowest shot is sitting on 27 feet. The next two shots here are at 31 feet. This shot and this shot are at 36 feet. This shot here is at 39 feet. This one's at 41 feet. These darts here are at 46 feet. This shot's at 50 feet. And the top shot went quite far out to 64 feet. With ranges of 64 feet flat, that's very good for a blaster like this. But anyways, we'll get onto the overview of the wild glam now. On to the overview of the wild glam, starting with the function of the blaster. You place your dart into the nozzle here. Then you pull back this until it clicks and pull the trigger to fire. The blaster has a tactical rail and a sling mount, which is always handy. Here is a comparison to the Pink Crush. As you can see, same blaster, same design, just different color schemes. I like this one much better with the white and zebra stripes, better than the pink and purple feathers. Also, remember how the Pink Crush had the bow arms, like that. The Wild Glam has the same hole, so the bow arms will fit on the Wild Glam as well. It's got a very nice holster, it fits the blaster really nicely. If we clip that in there. And it's not coming out at all, but the only problem is I have it with is that you have to have a sling on to have it so it will not clip to a belt loop. Which I think is quite a uh, disadvantage, but it's still not coming out very sturdy in there. The bandolier is a basic bandolier, hold starts but no clips seeing as it's not needed for clips and it will, what it's made for is it will clip to blasters or the holster. Here is a size comparison to the Fire Strike. As you can see, they're both roughly the same size, but this is a much smoother, sleeker version. That's what I really like about the Rebel Blasters. It's up to you if you want to go out and buy yourself the Wild Glam. It is just a repainted pink crush that comes with a holster and bandolier. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, warsup009, and as always, thanks for watching.